Okay, it's time for the Netrunner New York City April 2013th Tournament Finals. We have Noise versus NBN. Let's see how this goes down. We got a pretty standard opening play from the Corp. Installing some ice. Mostly want to protect that R&D. You never know, there could be a medium on the first turn <laughs> with noise. I think I do see a medium in that hand. Yep, here come the viruses. He doesn't have wild side yet, so he's drawing up cards to get more viruses, using the armitage to get more credits. I think someone said, mathematically speaking, if you want to win, uh, you need to access 17 cards to have odds of scoring uh, seven agenda points worth out of a 49 card 20 point deck so so far there's one so 16 more cards milled and of course a successful archives access there could be an ice in front of it to keep them out uh, would be necessary Looks like NBN was just taking credits uh, because he needs to be able to res his expensive ice like toll booths and such. Here comes the data sucker. More viruses. And the archives is protected early. Good idea. Very good idea. Yeah, against criminal and noise. Uh, you know, it, criminal has sneaked or noise has, you know, viruses. You have to protect those archives uh, pretty strongly. Against Wizard and Shaper, not so much. Crypsis. Crypsis is a virus. Gotta remember that. Sometimes there's noise that you, you just want to install a Crypsis over another Crypsis just to install a virus to uh, mill another card. Oh, two remote servers. So I guess he doesn't feel that he can ice them up. Uh, he wants to play a little bit of horizontal game. Maybe he's got a trap down there as well to dare the runner to uh, go hit it, checking for agendas. And if one of those is, say, an Astro script, uh, he could just score it if the runner doesn't uh, go check it out. Runner does check it out. It's a pad campaign. He's going for the horizontal economy. He imps it using the imp token. Yeah, that horizontal economy is very vulnerable to uh, noise with imp, or any, uh, especially wizard, even more so. There comes the medium, more milled. So, so far we got four viruses, 13 to go, for the mathematical, uh, theoretical victory at least. Alright, now we're seeing a protected remote server. So 
So that's probably an agenda he can score next turn. It'll be pretty rough for the runner to get in there. He'd have to take a bunch of credits. He'd have to put a you know uh, virus counter on the Crypsis because he didn't have a grimoire. Uh, he's gonna go for it. It's a toll booth. Oh, there goes three credits down the hole. And I don't believe he has enough to get in. But he did make the corpse spend eight. He runs the other server. Uh, it was oh, it was a snare. Uh, but the corpse just spent all his credits on the toll booth, so he didn't have enough to uh, pay for the snare. That was a really good move by the runner there. He really all he had to do was spend two clicks and uh, three credits on the toll booth, able to get that snare safely out of the way. And if that snare was, say, a um, another pad campaign, he could have trashed it with Imp. There's a Parasite. We're getting milled out. The Parasite is taking up too much memory, so the medium is gone. Yeah, with two ice in front of R&D, that medium d might not actually need to use it or get to use it. Does score an Astro Script. Uh, but that toll booth will be gone in a few turns. Unless the corp uh, clears virus counters, which, you know, the runner is very happy for the corp to waste a turn on that. Okay, drawing cards, drawing cards. Uh, replacing the imp with another imp, that's a virus. Yeah, the tournament organizer is uh, arranging those archives there. Parasite starts to do its dirty work. Runs the another plaid campaign away with the imp. Here comes a nerve agent, yet another virus. Throws away a data sucker. Oh, scores a breaking news. So it's three points. Okay, the wild side is now in effect. Runner's drawn two cards. Losing a click though, only three clicks.
There's a worm. Replacing the Crypsis, he runs. There was actually a mistake here that was corrected. So the issue is this. Uh, he ran the toll booth and then tried to use the worm to decrease the strength of the toll booth to zero. Seeing they didn't, neither the runner nor the corp caught this problem, uh, but the judge did. So the corp already drew his card, so he put it back. Basically, the issue here is that the three credits you have to pay to the toll booth happens before you have the chance to use the worm. So he runs against the toll booth, he loses three credits um, to the toll booth. Right. Thus, he doesn't have any credits left to use the worm to b destroy the toll booth. That was gonna, if he had more credits uh, to pay the toll booth and then use the worm, that was a great move, uh, because usually the corp will wait until the parasite is one away from destroying the ice to remove virus counters, and basically using that worm prevents the corp uh, from doing that and just makes them, forces them to lose the ice. Uh, in this case, right, the corp did clear the virus counters because of the mistake by the runner not having enough credits. The runner just lost his click and his three credits to toll booth and ended that run. Medium comes out, yep, it's just yet another virus to mill yet another card. Spinal modem in the trash. That wild side, you end up throwing a lot of cards in the trash that you can't play. It's a good thing most of the virus cards, like data suckers, uh, don't cost very many credits to install. And if you have Cyber Feeder, uh, it makes it even better. Because you can use those credits to install pretty much a virus per turn without having to actually spend clicks taking credits. Parasite keeps on coming back. But as long as uh, that toll booth is still there and still rezzed, the corp can still score agendas behind it. There's a Cyber Feeder. Corp scores yet. Oh, a private security force. So that's five points. One more agenda could do it for the Corp. A two pointer. Even if the Corp loses this game, the runner will be forced to score six or win uh, the next game in order to win this match. So that's still incredibly strong. Here comes a second Cyber Feeder. As a nerve agent, so yet another virus. It's raining viruses now. Oh, scores of breaking news out of hand. Six points. One point away. If they draw breaking news, that's going to be over. The toll booth is one away from being destroyed, which is really only necessary if he draws uh, something other than a breaking news, but he does have the Astroscript token. Um, 
So I think he could even score an Astro Script out of hand. Runners counting. <laughs> If he's going to make a run at archives or uh, R&D, his time is running out. And the Corp has six points. Oh, the Corp uh, was starting to take his turn not realizing the runner just began their turn. He was thinking, uh... Oh, here comes the Archives run. The Corp does not have enough credits to res. The Ice in front of Archives. Three points. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's it. Seven points. Very close game. Let's get right into game two player who was running noise in the first game is now incorporating Wayland because we built it. And the player who was the corporation NBN in the first game is now running noise. Interesting that two noises made it to the finals shows that that virus milling ability is still a force to be reckoned with even when it's expected. Also remember in the first game the corporation NBN scored six points that really makes this a must win for both sides uh, I guess if the corporation here scores six and loses you could force a tie but really it's just you know you have to win this game you're not gonna be able to lose this game and win the tournament so the corporate the runner gets uh, working right away with some liberated accounts, piling on the monies. There we go, recurring credit for advancing ice. Gonna keep noise out of R&D. Stop that medium game. Is that another liberated accounts? Wow, that is going to be a lot of credits for the runner. I guess get them all early, use them all late. Corporation hasn't protected those archives yet. But then again, there haven't been any viruses yet. going to try to push some uh, agendas through in that remote probably before the runner has any breakers. There's a Plaskrete Carapace. Even if it makes it too hard to kill the runner now with the Scorched Earth you have to expect from Wayland, uh, it does force you know the usually credit starved noise to spend three clicks, uh, a click and three credits on that card. Whereas otherwise they could discard it and draw deeper for more viruses. Empties another liberated accounts and the gin comes out. If you don't draw any viruses, go digging for them. So, the corporation did score that agenda. 
It looks to be a Project Atlas with one token on it, or no tokens, no, zero tokens on the Project Atlas. Uh, I think that's a Crypsis that was installed by the runner. I don't think a card was milled uh, at the appropriate time. You always had to remember, you know, to mill those cards. It's sometimes tricky to remember the ability that's on your identity or abilities on your agendas since you sort of put them out of the way and you're not looking at them. A second Plascrete. So there is no way the Scorched Earth is gonna, you know, end this game uh, before the noise does his job on uh, those archives. Uh, see there, the runner reminds that a, a card was never milled for Crypsis, and it gets milled now. So the right number of cards was milled. But I think things would have turned out differently, because uh, the Corp, I think, drew a hedge fund that would have gone in the trash. Ooh, he's going to Parasite that Enigma on HQ, which is a virus. So this noise is playing it a little differently. I mean, they have to play it differently, considering the opponent is Wayland. Whoa! Two cards milled, and three points. I think if they had actually milled the Crypsis at the appropriate time, uh, wouldn't have scored those points. Kind of a big deal. But statistically uh, irrelevant. So it's all good. And now he's icing up the archives a little bit late. Yeah, they want to eat the corporation to use their tokens on the parasites so that you know you don't actually lose some. Take the other person's tokens home. Data sucker comes and virus. And he's just before the enigma can die. Uh, rather than waste a whole turn clearing virus counters, which with the weak Enigma you'd have to do pretty much every other turn to protect it, uh, he's just going to replace it. Probably a good idea. Nerve agent viruses. I think I just saw some snares in the corporation's hand, so if he actually tries to make use of that nerve agent, possibly in combination with his Crypsis and Data Sucker, 
uh, things could get pretty nasty here. If that uh, net damage goes off and kills some viruses out of the runner's hand uh, before he gets wild side, not the greatest. <coughs> also, even though he has two plascretes, you know, a triple scorch is possible. Uh, I, I don't think I've seen one, but you know, technically speaking, if he has less than four cards in his hand uh, and is tagged by that snare. Corporation is nine credits. They could scorch, 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 and even two plascretes will not protect him. Very unlikely play. You know, if I have two plascretes on the table, I'm pretty much not worried about scorch at all. Yeah, if you notice the previous uh, game, noise was running on Armitage. Here, Noise is running on liberated accounts. He's going for HQ with that nerve agent. I guess he didn't have an imp. That's what you really want to do. He sees... A snare. It snare did go off. Four credits. Boom. Here comes the damage. You got an ice carver. Looks like a gin something else I can't see and he takes the tag oh it looks like he's gonna play vamp right that's not a bad move vamp does give you another tag but uh, if the corporation doesn't have any money then they can't play Scorched Earth. Or uh, destroy any of your resources, such as liberated accounts. I guess the corp here could spend his whole turn to destroy that liberated accounts. Not sure if it's worth it. Yeah, he's going to advance his ice wall some more. Looking for some commercialization to get his money back. If he had an atlas counter, he could dig one up. Uh, see, now the runner is going to run the big mega fort uh, after the vamp while the corp is poor. Looks like an ice wall. Good to have a cheap ice there. I think he broke it with Crypsis. The Corp could not afford to res anything else. Oh, and it is a three-point government contracts. Six points, again, on the right side of the table. Runs archives. Maybe he could just win the game right there. No. No agendas in the archives. Only a few cards were milled. That nerve agent does have two counters. If he can go into HQ, he can see a lot of cards. There's a beanstalk. If there's an agenda in there, that will be a win for the whole tournament on the right side. Things aren't looking too good for the corp here. You know, if he keeps an agenda in his hand, uh, he has to have enough credits to res the HQ ice. 
which the runner still might break. If he plays the agenda in that server, uh, he's got to have enough credits to, uh, you know. All right, so it's a hostile takeover. Gets some money. Gets up to three points. It's three to six. That's really the card. You know, Wayland really needs that card. If Wayland doesn't draw that early, you know, their economy will be, you know, a little bit slow, reliant on transactions. Uh, and even though it gives a bad publicity, that's okay because, you know, that one bad publicity credit isn't going to get through the archer that can now be raised. Another snare during the nerve agent run. Doesn't seem like the runner cares about those tags uh, because of the plascrete. And it doesn't have any resources to punish either. You did see a scorched earth. Another thing to keep in mind is that it doesn't have to be a triple scorch all at once, all that that would be the most efficient. He could, you know, use one scorch for one plascrete, another scorch for the other plascrete, and then from then on the runner would either have to remove his tags or uh keep his hand size uh at four or more to avoid a third scorch if the corp could draw it and pay for it. Going for HQ again, it loads up his data sucker, it loads up his nerve agent. Yeah, in that case, the, uh, the runner chose which card from the corpse hand he would not see. That's how full that nerve agent is. So the card that was on the table is the card the runner did not look at. He saw the rest of them. Okay, so the corporation did uh, double scorch there, which got rid of those plascrete carapaces. But he didn't have enough to win the game. Runner installs a medium, another virus, runs R&D, and oh, there you go. That's it. Got points with the medium and wins the tournament. Congratulations.